Please be advised that this video is for the sole purpose of entertainment. Any views of purely my own are subjective and may not necessarily be true. I do, however, do extensive research for all of my videos. All photos have been found on the public domain. I am using them under the Fair Use and Fair Dealing guidelines. I urge everybody to do their own research. Well, hello, it's Murky Meg here. It's Saturday the 18th of January and I honestly can't believe we have been fooled. My Once eyes again. are now very much open and I believe that these pap shots of her picking up her friend are completely fake. But whoa, Murky Meg, you said she was in Canada. Yeah, well, my eyes are now open and I'm watching with interest. It always struck me as odd why there wasn't that much snow on the ground. We know at the moment that in Vancouver, massive snowstorms going on. So you'd expect a little bit more snow on the ground. Well, you say it's an airport, so they've probably cleared it. Yeah, that's right. But their Christmas decorations are still up. Now, thanks to the wonderful people on Tumblr, especially Skippy, they've written to Vancouver Airport asking when did they take their Christmas decorations down. They said they went down on the 9th of January. What the hell is going on? Now, my eyes have been kind of closed and I thought, no, surely this wouldn't be the case. Well, turns out it's a massive possibility. But also look at her facial features. It seems that she's lost an awful amount of weight around her face in the few days from Canada House to the Paps outside of Vancouver Airport. That's not possible. These pictures make her look younger. I think the wool is being pulled well and truly over our eyes. These are not recent pictures. Think about it for one minute. She's been using her old wardrobe. She's been spotted in a jumper at the women's shelter. Now that jumper she's had since her suit days, as the same with both jackets that she's been spotted in, the black jacket which she wore to pick up her friend, allegedly from the airport, and also the green barber jacket. All three of those items are old items. There is no new items that she's wearing, which is really quite bizarre for somebody who spent £1 million in the first year of her marriage on clothes. Has she been financially cut off and told that she was not allowed to take anything that was spent on you while you were in this marriage? Because let's face it, she racked up a lot of clothes and they were worth a lot of money. So now I'm questioning everything that we are told. Were they really in Canada before Christmas? Because let's face it, they could have been anywhere in the world if in fact they were together. Now this is a pretty out there theory. I don't think they're together anymore. I think we've got a separation coming. But why would the Crown mislead us into thinking that they were trying to hash out a deal for Harry and Meghan to leave when in fact that, that was not the truth whatsoever? Well, they're going to protect the Crown at all costs. And if there was a divorce in the process, then they're going to keep that pretty quiet because of all the money that's been spent and all the hoo-ha that is going on right now. Perhaps she's gone rogue and has taken control of everything and they're trying to dampen down the flames. Now, I know I have always said that I am the champion of finding the truth, but I will always stick with what the news says. But we have to look at this evidence. There's no snow in those pictures and Vancouver Airport have taken their Christmas decorations down before these were taken. I just don't understand what's going on. I don't understand why these pictures have been leaked. I suspect they have been leaked by her and the palace can't contain her. I think there is a lot more going on in Buckingham Palace than meets the eye. All I'll say is I don't think they're going to be together for the foreseeable future. I think they are done and dusted and the palace are trying to pick up the pieces and clean up the mess. But what I can't work out is the games that this is being played. I think she's holding them over a bowel and she's got some sort of dirt on them. So they are trying to make it seem like everything is rosy and glowing when in fact it's anything but. I have an interesting theory and that is that they are playing along with this drama to vilify Meghan Markle and make it seem that Harry is a broken man. That way, when this information does come to light, Harry will be accepted back into the fold. She will be vilified and pushed aside and he will be 
the golden child once again. But the thing is that people don't forget exactly what has happened. I think there are a lot of skeletons in both Harry's and Meghan's cupboards and I think they're holding it over the British royal family. He's probably told her lots of things about his family and she's using it to her own advantage. A real life Game of Thrones. There's a rumour that's been posted on Crazy Days and Nights website that apparently she wants a law passed which will allow her to qualify for an exception to residency requirement to obtain citizenship. Isn't that interesting that it mentions her and not Harry? I do find the Sun's paper very, very funny at times and this just about sums up the way that people feel in Britain at the moment. But what do you all think? Do you think I'm barking up completely the wrong tree or do you think that this has legs? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me, it really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.